Uh, right, welcome everybody to the Fine Arts Theatre at International School Manila. My name is Marsha Hillman and I'm the Fine and Performing Arts Director here. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the first of three concerts um, in our November concert series. So every Wednesday, so this Wednesday, next Wednesday and the next Wednesday after, you get a chance to come in and celebrate all the learning that's been happening in the semester in our music programme. Um, for choir, it's extra special because we also have some of our ES friends here in the shape of ISM Singh who would join us. So it's truly a whole school event that you're about to see. Uh, the, as you can see, the, uh, the theme that we've chosen to go with this year is decades, and that's in honour of the fact that it's our 100th anniversary, 100 years of singing at ISM. Um, so we are really, really excited to take that theme. And what's come of that is really great. We've just been able to select perfect pieces of music, fun pieces of music, and especially for this concert, even if you've had a bit of a bad day and you come in from you've rushed and got here, I guarantee by the time you leave you will be smiling. The repertoire in this program is wonderful, fun, uplifting, and all these students have done a wonderful job preparing it for you. So please, please, please enjoy that experience as you go through the event. Just a few th um, housekeeping things before we get going. Obviously, we're in um, the, it's lovely, we have up the back here, we have a whole tricaster set up. We're actually more than a tricaster. We have five cameras up there recording the event. That means that we prefer you keep your phones down, especially, and put them on airplane mode. So if you could be doing that right now, that would be really helpful. We have, as you can see, handheld microphones, and we would hate for any of the disturbances coming from the cell phones to um, disturb the students' performances. So please, please kindly put your phone to uh, airplane mode, and um, you can rely on the fact that we will have a video of this event sent out. Uh, for those who are new to the school, what we do is when we video an event in the fine arts, um, any of the fine arts events that happen in the theatre, there is a folder that you can go into on the parent portal and we upload the video there and you can simply download that video at any stage that you want. It usually gets there um, within, a, say, three, four days after the, after the event, depending on which part of the week it lands on. So just keep checking in the parent portal and eventually you'll see a video of this whole concert that you can download at your leisure. So please, we prefer you just sit back and enjoy. If you do need to go out during the show, we do have uh, our ushers at the back from the Fine Arts Council who will help you, so we prefer you use the back exits to go out if you need to go to the bathroom at any stage, just um, so there's no, um, they can help you with that because they have torches to help you when you come back. So, decades. These students get to represent 100 years of things that have been happening at the school, okay? 100 years of building towards. And these, some of these faces here, will be here still in another like eight years or so, standing on the stage, and they will look something similar to the people up the back there, okay? And you will, it'll be like night and day. And that's why we have these concerts, these, um, these um, vertically articulated concerts where you get to see the students at each development level. It's a great um, enthusiastic way to en encourage these young people down here to see what they can um, achieve if they keep with their craft. And it's a great thing for these seniors, some of these people up here, senior students now, looking down to see how far they've progressed with their craft. Um, so I really want you to just sit back, get ready to enjoy yourself, get ready to feel happy. Um, and I'm gonna introduce you to the first of two amazing choir teachers, Miss Anne Preventure, who is going to introduce the first song. Thank you. All right, we're going to start by jumping into the 80s and doing perhaps one of the best songs from that decade.
Um, so now this is what one of the things I call a great migration, where everybody on the stage moves to a different spot. So bear with us, and I'll be turning it over to Ms. Julie Lodi, who is the director of ISM Singh. Wall. We'll just do two things at the same time. So we will move into a dec uh, two decades back in time. I don't think these guys were quite around yet, but we're going to go Muppet movie on everyone, thinking Kermit and Miss Piggy. So that there's a wonderful song from that that I think everyone will recognize, and we'll get into that. And we are really proud to be up here with the big kids. This is a very special thing for this group. So um, how many of you, this is your second year in ISM Sing? So it's about half fourth grade, about half third grade. And who's new to ISM Sing? Awesome. So it will be, keep our numbers up. Okay, you guys can go on.
fence, I've got to tell you a little bit of story about how I came to it. And it's emotional, so sorry. <laughs> um, when I first taught overseas in Caracas, Venezuela, this is back in 1998, first week of school, <laughs> not one of these, sorry. Okay. I can do this, I'm going to fly, right? <laughs> um, go get visas. Fingerprints, check, welcome to, you know, not real computerized yet, colonial <coughs> buildings around you. And um, on, we finished the process and they said, okay, go away for an hour, come back and we'll have your paperwork ready. I'm wandering and I stumble upon this building, beautiful old colonial building with these banners hanging in front with a child dressed in a um, Simone Bolivar soldier's costume, liberator of South America. And I was like, it was called Seyama Simon, my name is Simon. And I'm like, Hmm, this looks interesting. Niños Actores de Venezuela, children actors of Venezuela. Bought a ticket, I'm gonna come see what this is next weekend. Well, that was something that changed my five years in that country. And, I'm sorry, my heart's on my sleeve and that's just what it is. But anyway, this is a song that was in this musical. It ripped my heart out, it is just gorgeous. The words, there's a translation on the screen. It ends up in a service learning project between our school and their school. Beautiful friendships, um, kids out of that group, poor barrios that had nothing. They would go, that was sometimes like the only food they got that day was when they went to the theater. They had to keep up their grades to stay in the program. These kids were so lucky. And um, anyway, <laughs> in intermission, I went and found the conductor, uh, the, uh, I begged, I'm like, please find the director. I met him and I said, we've got to get together and that was the beginning of all the things we did with the schools. But You'll see the power of the song, but here I am now, fast forward, five years later, I'm in Buenos Aires, Argentina working. And I was telling someone about this song, and they said, well, that's not from there, that's from Argentina. And I said, what? <laughs> and they said, no, Patricia Souza. She was an artist, she started in the 70s, but she went solo in the 90s, and it's called Aprender a Volar. And it was a big pop song in Argentina in the 90s. And so, in honor of us being a global school, we're going to have some international pop that is just powerful. Uh, please forgive the emotion. You'll understand when you see it, okay? Up and there, a lot.
speaking for you, but while we are having more washing machine, we have really clean laundry up here. Um, uh, there's a group of kids I need to recognize. In fact, Ami kids, why don't you come down here so we can see you at the front. Um, back in late August, we began a process of auditioning. Just like middle school kids are able to audition for the AMI, A-M-I-S, Association for Music and International School Honor Ensemble Festivals for uh, choir, band, and orchestra at the middle school level. This year, AMI is offering their very first ever elementary global uh, choral festival. Now, so we are supposed to get a plane on Tuesday and go to Hong Kong. We're hoping, but we'll see. Um, the, the, but, so we'll see what happens. They have worked their tails off. They've got a beautiful program and we are gonna perform it here at ISM. So we'll, as soon as we know that date, we'll get it out there. But I wanted to thank them for their incredible efforts. Tess West Palm Van Horn Van Berg, Alyssa Sethi, Alessi Baja, Daniela Reno, Esme Lim, Juliana Vega Martins, Lati Marshall, Misaki Sagara, Zar, uh, Zari Sawani, and Adi Jambanathan. So thank you very much. We're looking to great musical things coming out of this group as they go up. It, you, it, it is a treat to listen to third graders sing Vivaldi. Vivaldi. So when we have a concert, we'll have to let you know. Vivaldi, they sing in Portuguese. They sing in an African language. They sing, it's just amazing. I just feel I have the greatest job in the world. I get to listen to them. So anyway, all right, but thank you. Good luck to them next week. And we will pass it on to our amazingly talented middle schoolers in Ms. P. Thank you. So we are going to welcome grade five onto the stage. So to choose the grade five repertoire, I turned to Broadway, and I went all the way back to 1939 for Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz, and that was actually the Academy Award winner for Best Original Song in 1939. And then we skip right ahead, and we're going to actually begin in 1994 with The Lion King.
One thing I would like to highlight for this concert, we have a record number of student accompanists joining us. So there are three or four or five or so, I've lost count, but I'd like to say a special thank you to the high school students, some of whom are singing in choir and accompanying, um, and a lot of people who are in the band as well, so who have come and shared their talents to accompany for us tonight. Welcoming the sixth grade onto the stage, we are going to travel to the 1950s and the 1960s, and when you think about those two decades, two of the most iconic performers, you have Elvis Presley and you have the Beatles.
So I should mention that um, about 98% of the choreography that you see tonight comes from the student themselves. They wanted to do it, and this goes for every, every group that you see on stage. It's, it's very student-led when it comes to the choreography. So we're moving up in the world, and now we're in seventh and eighth grade. And we have two songs for you. We're, st we're going back to the 90s. Nope, I'm lying. We're going to the 2000s with Wicked and For Good. And I've asked the kids to uh, just think of someone they love for this, right, for in, in this song. Then we're going to go back to the 70s. And uh, if you can think of Monty Python and Spamalot and the musical that made fun of all the other musicals, keep that in mind when you watch them perform their second piece.
And as we graduate middle school and move on into high school, we return to the 60s for two pieces. The first one uh, is Louis Armstrong made famous. And since his recording of it was released in 1967, it has sold over 2 million copies. I think in 2014, it was at 2.1 million and it's just been growing from there. Fly Me to the Moon was originally written and released in the 50s, but Frank Sinatra made a recording in 1964 that 
really brought it into the mainstream. And one thing that I learned when I was preparing for this concert is that they actually made a recording of it and played it on Apollo 11 before the moon landing in 1969. So I think that's pretty cool.
So now we're going to get back into our time machine and go to 1949 and go back to Broadway um, and to the love song from Some Enchanted Evening. Sorry, the love song from South Pacific called Some Enchanted Evening. And then um, the final show choir song is It Had to Be You. And that was originally written in 1924. And then it was recorded in the 30s and it was in movies in the 40s and the 50s and the 70s and the 80s, and then Harry Connick Jr. recorded it in the 90s, and then Michael Bublé and Barbara Streisand recorded it in the 2000s. So our final song just does 90 of the 100 years. Thank you. 
glad just to be sad thinking of you. So mothers I see. We're going to have one more trip to Broadway to do the latest blockbuster performance. Think about what that might be. Don't look in your programs. Like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, I'm not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Hey, yo, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Come on, let's go! Rise up when you're living on your knees. You rise up, tell your brother that he's gotta rise up. Tell your sister that she's gotta rise up. When are these colonies gonna rise up? When are these colonies? Rise up! When are these colonies gonna rise up? Rise up! 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 R
awake and I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow. For the first time, I'm thinking past tomorrow. And I am not throwing away my shots. I am not throwing away my shots. Hey, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shots. Rise up. Rise up. Um, and if this is not your first All Choirs concert, you know we like to end with a party. So give us one minute to get on stage, and then you guys can get up and dance with us. No choreography needed. before we sing our final piece, and I do hope you get up and join us. Um, there are so many people that work to make this kind of a concert a success. We've got nearly 170 singers up there, but behind every singer, there's some parents, there's teachers, there's not just the music teachers, there's the other teachers who support them and, and come to their concerts and yes, let them go after school to a rehearsal. Um, Please, I, I, I ask you to just read the back and just know that it, my heartfelt thanks goes out to each and every person because it truly does take a village to make this kind of thing happen, so thank you.
If you can let these kids leave before you crowd the aisle here, that would be great. Feel free to meet your child outside the FAT in the hall there. Thank you and good night.